talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, talking fishing. If it's facts about fishing that you want to know, then tune in, folks, cause this is the show. We'll show you all the right bait to use. So sit right back, you got nothing to lose. Doesn't really matter if it's trout or carp, flathead marlin or a gummy shark. Listen to the guys and you can't go wrong. They'll be talking about fishing till the cows come home. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, everyone, to Talking Fishing. We're back. First <laughs> show of the season. It is September 2019. Don't worry about repeats. I'm going to talk about repeats later on, but uh, a big show coming your way. Unbelievable catch of the week. It's the last week of winter. Uh, it, it's just unbelievable the fish that have been caught. Travis Dowling, CEO of the Victorian Fisheries Authority, to join us. Product of the week, mailbag, all the regular stuff. Plus, we're going to look at how many boat ramps are free. It's a big show coming up and ads. Um, how good was today? The first 20 degree day since May. Yeah, and it was noticeable. Yeah, mm. and oh. the, the mornings have been mild, which is a little bit strange mm. walking outside in the morning and not being freezing cold. But mm. it's, it feels like it's it's. The change is here. Yeah. It feels like it's ready for snapper season. I yeah, think. exactly, yeah. Trelly, yep. um, a bit of spring in the air up in Shepparton, is there? There is. The, uh, the wattles are out, which is a sign that the yellow belly are going to start moving or are starting to move right now. Yeah. And uh, yes, we had a lovely day. We drove across the Bendigo down to here. It's perfect weather. Yeah. But uh, I think we've got a bit of rain coming up there. Yeah. Um, yeah, just, yeah. Just a teaser. That's right. That's, that's right. We're in mm -hmm. drought. I mean, there's a lot of places that need rain. That's it. Travis Dowling, love CEO love of the Victorian back. Fisheries love Authority. Love Good to have you back. Yeah, it's First show. Yeah. Um, you know what? We, I mean, we've actually had an extra month this year mm. off. Um, we decided to have four instead of three. And you just go, how much happens in four months? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's been very we've, busy. We've just had to get yeah. you back tonight yeah. to go, try and get through as much as we can. Yeah. Um, and like I said, it is uh, the first live show for the year. So, Although we did Jala a month ago, a bit yeah. of a live one on Which the, was yeah. big. That was big on the boat. Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah, recap all yeah. that. So yeah. do you know what I stuffed up, though? I said to the boys, because we had to put a couple of extra repeats mm. in, so I said to them, just take them from last year, because it'll be relevant yeah. as to the time of year. Yeah. We got yeah. all this feedback from last week's show saying that trout opening was last weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I missed it. it. Yeah. 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 Oh. These blokes probably handing out fines up on the gold yeah. because stomped yeah. through yeah. it <laughs> We wouldn't do that. I no, stuffed. No, no. I stu all these people wrote us. I was really stuffed up, eh? That was a cracker. But no, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't. I actually thought, oh, we'll do the right thing. It'll be, it'll yeah. be right, you know, it'll yeah. match yeah. in with the season. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, because. Week early. Yeah, because well, yeah. it's a little bit late. Yeah. Um, why is it the trout season starts on the first weekend of what, September what, and cod season starts on the 1st of December. We, we, yeah. we basically put the seasons around when they start to bite. So I've, we've decided <laughs> that that's about when they're going to turn on. I can't believe you've talked about fishing. That's right, it's, 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 it's very scientific. Turn <laughs> rubbish. Yeah. Turn rubbish. <laughs> uh, let's get into it, folks. Let's have a look at what's been caught by the people at home. It's time for Catch of the Week. Catch of the Week, brought to you by Shimano. I tell you what, um, I always bang on about how Victoria has world-class fisheries. Mm. And looking today, having a look at all the resources that we gather our photos from, mm -hmm. these are all genuine from this week. Mm. It, it, it is amazing that Victoria has, and I think you guys, Trav, you really need to be proud of the way you're managing mm. because have a look at some of these. Andrew, right, let's kick it off. A uh, tyre bank. That's a good that, one. that is a stonky That's ooh, huge, isn't it? That's a great, looks like an alien. Look at the size of it. Yeah. It really does. I mean, this is just yeah. the best time yeah. of year for this sort yeah. of stuff. And there's been a few other photos like that too. Some crackers, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that size. There's yeah, plenty around, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just magnificent. Let's have a look at the next one. Liz Smith, a 2.25 kilo calamari on the quail bank. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. I mean, you make mm. bracelets out of these, yeah. Um, yeah. these <laughs> calamari rings, you yeah. know? Um, they, they're just Good, fantastic. Know. And I mean, it's not only in Western Port, they're getting all around Port Phillip yeah, that's right. as well. Yeah. So. But those real big models seem to be up up in Western Port at the moment. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah, just fantastic. Um, over on Port Phillip, let's have a look at this. Simon the Deckhand Dixon. <laughs> have a look, oh, look at this that. for a cuttlefish. This is off uh, Sorrento Moorings. Yep. Um, and he also got a nice 
Calamari, I think, next cast. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so it turns out um, all the big ones aren't. Went out, went out, yeah. went, out with <laughs> Jules, <laughs> went out with his mate Jules. Jules doesn't catch anything, but the deck he catches the lot. Yeah. So oh, it okay. says a bit for how Jules is as a, as a fisherman, I tell you. Yeah, there's always, the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always one good one, yes. one bad one. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just got the camera job for the day, Jules. So but anyway, good luck to him. The other thing is, and, and, and it came up as a memory on social media the other day about we took a few boys down fishing off uh, Blair Gowrie oh, three yes. years ago as a memory mm. on the King George Whiting, and it must be around this time of year, something triggers. Mm. Mm. But it's King George Whiting City down on yeah. the peninsula at the moment. Have a look at this. Michael Buxton, he is the chairman of the Future Fish Foundation and has way too many days off to go, yeah. you know, to go yeah. fishing when it's nice weather. Yeah. Yeah. These are all 40 centimetre fish. Yeah. Look how beautiful the water looks too. Oh, I know. Yeah. What a cracking day, hey? Yeah. yeah. And I know we're, I know we're close to snapper season, mm. but the King George Whiting at this time of year, they're mm. fat. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they're, you know, they've got that winter slime. They're just beautiful it's conditioned good. fish. Mm. Absolutely like beautiful. Mm. Um, oh, here we go. We're in my wheelhouse here now. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Donnie Newman. Don's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don still writes to us every week. Yep. In between, in like he's 97 now, mm, and he yeah. writes to us every week. But the Western Port Angling Club headed down to the Tambo, the Nicholson, and um, had a comp on. Mm -hmm. Now, before the comp started, Mick <laughs> Wallis, that's how you say it, I think. Mick yeah. Wallis. Have a look at this 1.903 kilo brim. Did you say mm. before the comp? Yeah, it wasn't entered in the comp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I said to Don, I said, that's pretty good. He goes, yeah. He said the, the club record is over two kilos. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But that's a stonking fat mm, brim, isn't it? Fish. Another terrible day, but things it. in the background. Yeah, exactly. there too. yeah that's right. Yeah. 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 Pretty rough conditions. Yeah. Um, the other guy who knows how to catch a brim mm. and catch a big brim is Frank Molito, <laughs> who's uh, down there at the Caltex in Lakes Entrance. And oh. have a look that's at this 46 oh, centimetres. Another yeah. photo on the brag mat, but yeah. we didn't put that one up. But yeah. that is a cracking that's fish yeah, as well. That's a beautiful that's a fish. Well done to Frank. Mm. Oh, that, is, that is good. Now, let's just put it out there for the punters. It's Cod season's closed, yep. all right? That's Correct. right. Yep. Except in Lake Yildon, Trev. Yep. Yeah, just, absolutely. Is this the second or the third year you've done that? Oh, I think it'll be the third now. Third yeah. year. Yeah. But Lake Yildon is open all year round yep. now. Yeah, absolutely. We know they're not breeding in there. Yep. And we've, there's cho chock-a-block full of cod. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are just catching and releasing, and it's just great to have that tourism aspect of it. Yeah. Just get up there all year round. Beautiful. The waddle's out, like Trolley is saying, yeah. spring. Yeah, yeah. Go and fish Yeldon for cod. Yeah. yeah. It's just yeah. So you still have yeah, your around. slot limits, though, even yeah, though yeah. they're not breeding. Yeah, yeah, the slot limits still Just to protect still those big ones yeah. so that people, more people can catch them? Or? Yeah, yeah, because mm. if you pull out the 75-centimetre-plus fish, you're yeah. taking away a fish yeah. of a lifetime for a lot of people, yeah. and they're yeah. not great eating over that size anyway. So leave the big ones in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got the slot between 55 to 75. If you get one that's yep. in that slot, you want to eat one, it's there for yeah. you. Yeah. But um, no, it's it's mm. fantastic fishery. Mm. So. Well, uh, Andrew Faludis, he got up there last week. A lovely 96 centimetre Murray cod out of Lake Yildon. That's a good fish to Charlie's yeah. best well, methods up at Yildon this time of year? Uh, electro fishing has worked pretty well. Dynamite, how great. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, uh, we're off to the good start. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, actually, um, at the moment, they're, they're big swim baits. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and cast them back probably about 30 mm. metres up there. It's, yeah. it's, it's tighter at my whale. Cast them back about 30 metres, put, put in a rod holder. And have yourself a wow of a day, just an electric motor, just trawling around. <laughs> yeah. Rocky yeah. points, rocky yeah. points, are really good. And, and yeah. around the wall seems to be one of the better places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. really yeah. good. That's cool. Not only is Murray Cod doing well at Lake Hilton, but mm. the Four Real Angling Club got up there last weekend. And have a look at this. There's a cracker. This, this is, is so good. brown trout. Yeah, that. This oh, is yeah. so good. Yeah. That. Yeah. What? What? This what is, the? Because we saw. There was That's a like a bunch of blokes in Canada going on a salmon trip. Or you can be more ginger bone. That's right. And there was something going on social media. There was this just. For whatever reason, the big browns just chewed their yeah, heads off. Yeah. And they're catching yeah. you on everything from yep. trolling tazzies. There was one that ate a big swim bait for yeah, a Murray for cod. A cod. Oh, yeah. really? It's just yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. They stocked That's fish. Good. I reckon they're wild fish. Yeah. I reckon a lot yeah. of those are wild fish yeah. coming out of the you know the Jamison or the Goulburn or the, these sorts of Hakwa. Yeah, the Hakwa. They're coming down and they're um they're, they're clearly they're feeding on other smelts. So they're feeding yeah. on yeah. roach or they're feeding yeah. on redfin to get that yeah. sort of size and that condition. Mm. 
And uh, but that they are wild brown trout yeah. and they are crackers. Yeah. It's surprising yeah. what fish they'll take too as a, as a, as yeah. a like red fin up mm. to like twelve centimetres. Yeah. There are some some ripper fish that they'll actually yeah. take up there. I've seen some take some some big. I say it's they're all dressed the same. What is it? What, what's what's about four real angling club, mate? They oh, just okay. all the yeah. same. Yeah. 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 Black and white minstrels or something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you'd like yeah. to send a pick, uh, send in a pick of your catch of the week. This is what you have to do. If you want to be like me and have your photo on TV, email your fishing pic to info at iFish.com.au. Go Pies! Yeah, I want to go fishing. It's around this time of year that I hate Collingwood even more. When I see, <laughs> when I see Collingwood on the line, that sucks to be playing in the finals. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. Where the Saints finished, Dave? Great. <laughs> we, were, we were on top. Ooh, 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 After ooh. about round four, we were on top for yeah. one day. Oh, yeah. hey, spewing oh, the season good. is in four weeks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, fisheries news, including how many stonker trout are being stocked for the trout opening this weekend. Next on Talking Fishing. Talking Fishing. We know what you'd rather be doing We know what you've really got in mind We know you'd rather be out fishing And today's the day you're gonna wet a line Cause every day's a good day Stop wishing Every day's a chance to drift away Drift away Every day's a good day for fishing Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. Live from the studios of Channel 31 Melbourne, it's now time for some very fishy news. Uh, like I said earlier on, a massive amount of news uh, over the break that mm -hmm. we've we've had, mm -hmm. so let's get into it. What's the news? Um, the first one, the first headline is uh, stonking trout. And stonkers. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was this, Travis? So, well, I actually think it was Rex Hunt's idea. He was the first one to approach us about yeah. it. That's a cracking idea. It's, um, I reckon it's made it, Trout it, Opening Victoria the biggest in Australia. It, and it's massive. They put it back on the map last Absolutely. year, didn't it? Really have a look did. at some of the photos. Yeah. These are the fish that uh, have been stocked this week, am I right? Yep. The, the so, they started going in the water now. Yeah. So um, yeah. There, there is uh, a huge trout opening is on again this September with the Goulburn River set to be a major draw card with 2,000 stonker trout to be stocked thanks to the Andrews Labor government members. Uh, member for Northern Victoria, Jacqueline Symes, said the Victorian Fisheries Authority would release the giant rainbow trout, boasting a combined weight of seven tonnes at 11 family-friendly sites near Eild. One of the things I forgot to do was put the map up, so yeah. we might run the map next week. Yeah. Um, but uh, this, this is Jeez. massive. This year, the Goulburn River between Molesworth and the Eildon Pondage will receive 1,500 big trout with 500 to be released into the Eildon Pondage itself. Families heading to the Eildon District can also visit the Goulburn Fishing Festival on Saturday the 7th of September, based at the Eildon Community Centre. We'll talk about that again in a second. Free act oh, it goes on about yeah. all that. I won't, I won't go into all that, but stonkers. T it, what, 2,000 fish? It's huge. So people think in Victoria level crossings are big. Yeah. But this is big, <laughs> right? This is, you know, this, 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 this is the legacy <laughs> items. Don't, you know, you can drive your car around, that's fine. Yeah. Damn. But you can catch a 10 pound rainbow trout. Yeah. Wow. You know, there are people paying thousands of dollars to travel around the world for that's it. Right. They, yeah. they drive an hour from Melbourne and they catch it. Goulburn. Yeah, I mean, it's it really is now the signature yeah. of uh, Victoria. Amazing. Yeah. And, and I think last year this time, we started seeing them every week in Catch of the Week. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. you don't just think this is a one weekend wonder. That's These fish right. will be getting oh. caught up until the months. Yeah, right? yeah, months. The, yeah, the next 12 months, people will catch them. So yeah, if, you, yeah. if you want to avoid the crowds, yeah. I mean, we're encouraging to get up there for opening. Yeah. But if you want to avoid the crowds, if it's not your thing, yeah. they won't get fished out. No, yeah. they won't. Go and pick yeah. your best spot on the Goulburn. You'll yeah. catch them in the next few months that yeah. are there. Yeah. 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 Now, this Saturday, uh, which is the 7th of September, which is trout opening, 10 o'clock till 4 o'clock at Ballarat. There's a fly, f there's a fishing festival. Um, there is, uh, you can go and help stock live trout. Hatchery tours at Ballarat, the uh, Ballarat Fish Acclimatisation Society's Trout Hatchery. That's from 10 o'clock. Fishing tuition for kids, bait and tackle uh, is provided. Fly tying demonstrations, cooking demonstrations and samples, children's activities, including jumping castle, face painting and photo booth, prize draws and raffles. Get along to that. And also there is the Goulburn Fishing Festival, which is up at Eildon. Um, same time, 10 o'clock till four. 
at, uh, on Saturday. Come and celebrate the opening of trout season. Trade Expo, uh, check out what's new in fishing tackle, help stop live trout. Snobs Creek Hatchery Tours, I think it's 75 years old now. Yep, it is. Going to have yep. a look at that. Going gangbusters. Uh, guided fishing on eel and pondage, bait and tackle providers. There'll be people there to help you. Talk with fishing experts. Fireworks at 7 p.m. Yep. Cooking mm -hmm. demonstrations, children activities, prize draws. Wow. Huge it's a massive one. festival. It's it great. It's great yeah. for the region. That's that big. You'll have to pop another anticol after that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, <laughs> man, the man cold's working overtime tonight. Yeah. I can tell you. I'll just get that glass of milk. Once yeah. Yeah. Oh. Warm milk. Yeah. 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 So that's big. Um, also, a bit of work activity going to those yeah, women in yeah. fishing. Your yes. your daughter Jacqueline is now a worth leader. Correct. Yeah. And uh, and there's a, there's a whole new group as far as another ten yeah. this year. Isn't yeah, there? another um, new ten ambassadors coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few of the others being mm. being our mentors. Yeah. mentors. Mm. Um, so they'll be attending some of these uh, activities, like um, mm. some of these festivals that are going yeah. on. Yeah, it's and, and it's women work. working with women to promote yep. women in fishing. It's yep. fantastic. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. All exactly. right, let's keep going. Plenty mm. of news. Like I said, uh, the next uh, the next headline is Gippsland La Gippsland Lakes commercial netting. Ban is another step closer. Commercial netting in the Gippsland Lakes is another step closer to being banned, with the Andrews Labor government introducing legislation last week uh, with, uh, that will boost tourism, create jobs and protect the unique lake system. The Marine and Fisheries Legislation Amendment Bill 2019 will phase out the 10 remaining Gippsland Lakes fishery, fishing access licences over two years. The first opportunity for industry to exit will be 1st of April next year with all affected licenses phased out by the 1st of April 2021. Gippsland Lakes fishing access license holders will be fairly compensated for the cancellation of their license with compensation to be consistent with that provided under the Port Phillip Bay buyout. Commercial bait, eel and mussel fishing will not be impacted and will continue to be permitted in the Gippsland Lakes. Victorian and federal offshore fisheries um, that use the lakes as a port will also remain unaffected, ensuring that prawns and other species sold in the food market will be available to consumers. So you're still going to see that fleet there, aren't you, Travis? Yeah, absolutely. So most of fishes. the fishing at Lakes Entrance um, is offshore, and there's a massive uh, Commonwealth fleet there. Yep. So there'll be a lot of fresh fish in Lakes Entrance. We encourage people to get down there. Uh, there's going to be a you know a respectful transition of the of the of the netters out mm. of the lakes. Um, and hopefully we're, we're, we're really confident that we'll see a boom in the recreational fishing um, industry at that point. But, um, you know, there'll still be a lot of commercial fishing um, offshore at the yep. Lakes Entrance area. All your of, gummy shark, flathead, all, all those species. Fresh yep. fish will be available. And, yeah. you know, we really encourage people to get down there. It's a beautiful part of Victoria. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. All right, let's keep moving along. Um, the next headline is duo arrested for illegal fish sales. Two men were arrested by fisheries officers and investigators in Melbourne's western suburbs last uh, Wednesday before last for allegedly buying and selling fish illegally. Victorian Fisheries Authority uh, said wholesale and retail premises were searched and a quantity of calamari was seized along with a boat, fishing equipment and a Toyota four-wheel drive. Don't you drive one of those, Charlie? <laughs> Wasn't it? No. Used to. Um, belonging to one of the men. We will, uh, we will allege an organised crime arrangement whereby one of the pair who does not possess a commercial fishing licence was catching calamari in Port Phillip and transporting them to a seafood business. We believe this was happening on a regular basis and that the fisher was paid cash upon delivery by the shopper. That wouldn't go on, would it? No, well, not a lot of it goes on, and most people do the right thing, and that's yeah. a really important mm. point. You know, 99% of fishers do absolutely the right thing, and they yeah. really look after the fishery. Yeah. And occasionally when this happens, you know, you know, it's, you'll it's, get caught. Yeah, yeah, you'll get caught, and, yeah. and, uh, and it can challenge the sustainability of the fishery overall. That's why we've got these, um, these yeah. defences in place. Now, that fisher will be charged with taking fish for sale and possessing the proceeds of crime. The shop owner will be charged with receiving unlawfully uh, taking fish for sale and dealing in the proceeds of crime. So, um, 10 year imprisonment is the maximum mm. there. So, uh, not to be mucked around Melbourne. with, eh? No, it's big, yeah, big offences. Yeah. 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 Keep your eye on West Melbourne so he closes down. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to change the subject now, boys. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but um, it popped up on the social media out at oh. one of your favourite places to go fishing um, in the future with your boat. Travis's Coliban, Upper Coliban? Yeah, Upper Coliban Reservoir. Upper Reservoir. Yeah, it's a fantastic place. Um, yeah. this is, uh, oh, there's no way, other way to describe this. <laughs> Let's just put it on. Have a look at this.
There you go. A couple of local <laughs> legends there. There you go. Um, Oh, we'll talk. We'll talk about the upper yeah. column after the break. Yeah, um, sure. But you know, if you can't get a boat on there, and there's access issues, well, that's one way of solving it, well, I guess. It's a serious trouble. For sale now, um, that. Yeah. They did make the Channel Nine news though, and I'm not sure they did talk about Casa was investigating oh, yeah. or something like that. But was it that high? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think that trout looked gutted too. Yeah. 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 Anyway, that, that is yeah. that is very it's funny, funny. and um, <laughs> that probably is, we shouldn't encourage it. But it's pretty fun. But it was pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, we might we might take a break because we've got a lot to talk about. Uh, coming out next, product of the week, we're going to have a look at award-winning sunglasses. And uh, we look at on-water access and how it's improving to the northwest of Melbourne right after this on Talking Fishing. Talking Fishing. Fishing. All right, first one back. We've got to <laughs> listen. We've got to start with a big one. Yeah. Award-winning sunglasses. Correct. Mm. Check it out. We've just been to AFTA. We've just been to AFTA. So yeah. we've come back from the Gold Coast annual trade show, and for the fifth year in a row, spotters have taken out best sunglasses. Fifth. Yeah, wow. Fifth year. fifth year in a row. Right. So if, you know. Good competition, there isn't mm. any. There's the award. Yep. Fifth year in a row for spotters, so congratulations to them. Um, have been massive supporters of the show since day yeah. dot. Yeah. So thank you very much. We yeah. appreciate it. There is two new additions to the range. One for the ladies in the form of Bella. Here, Trelly, pop them on. Oh, you're very, right. fashionable. Very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very fashionable. Very fashionable. Match your shirt. Match your shirt. Yeah. 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 So there you go, ladies. She looks all right on you. Get a bit of that. <laughs> and, and for everyone else, because I'm sure the ladies mm. could wear these too. Everyone these else. are Zane, and, and this is what the award was actually won mm. on. But what I want to focus on, Dave, in particular, is the new carbon lens. So we've seen a stone mm. lens forever, which is the darkest grey tint that they do. Mm. It now comes in a photochromic option, which is really cool, because that now takes the collection to four. And I guess what makes what separates spotters from the competition they're the only lens on the market that have a three-point activation as far as the transition goes. You're, you're rattling goes. this off without no, 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 I love my spotters. How like, technical are you? Like, love me spotters. I keep looking for the little... What's the three points of activation? So they are <laughs> activated by UV light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are also activated by heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's one more that I general. can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> general light. Oh, okay. So yeah, so general light. Now, general light. why Ooh, is he's a mate of Colonel Clinks. No, but, yeah. but why is thermally activated important? Mm. When you're driving your car, your windscreen has got Oops. already got UV protection. Oh. So it's not activating oh, okay. your glasses. Yeah. So in mm. in your car, mm. in the middle of summer, you <laughs> forget to put the aircon on yeah. and your glasses will actually lighten up as the heat Should comes off that. your face. So yeah. they are unique. Mm. They are really cool, and that's what separates spotters from the rest of the competition. Mm. So they are brilliant sunglasses. They're always coming up with new designs and keeping up to date with the fashion yeah. trends, yeah, no, which absolutely. I know absolutely yeah. nothing so, about. Yeah. And Zane also comes, uh, apart from the four mm. photochromic lenses, yeah, well, all, comes, in, all the favorites. comes in ice blue, gold mirror, nexus, and CR39 mm. grey. <laughs> yep, that's right. right. So, yeah. Yeah. Do you, know, you know when I get, when I get people in the yeah. shop and you say, look, have a look at these glasses, or have a look at a pair of glasses yeah. in the shop, what I do yeah. is I say, have a look at the spotters, yeah. and I, I say to people, take them outside and look down the street what you yeah. want to do. But, but have a look at your hands at, at arm's length because optically, they're actually really, really correct. Yeah. Mm. They're really, really good. Yeah, so yeah. do that. Do yourself a favour when you we go can't, and try well, We on. can't do that in, in Cranbourne because you yeah. never see the glasses again. <laughs> <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell them to sit on the outside. They go, yeah, 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 run, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a couple of electric trolley motors as well. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it crime boom for nothing. Yeah. So as a fish show, the, the carbon lens is going to be really good for your offshore and yeah. high glare situation. Mm. So perfect for Port Phillip yeah. Bay in the middle mm. of snapper season. Yeah. Um, 
pretty exciting. But the ladies ones were too. Don't, nothing. Yeah, away. no, no, yeah. no. no um, and, and the ladies ones you can, you can get. Bella. Most of the some blokes would wear these. So I think either gender would be happy with those. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. If, uh, yeah. if Katie was watching tonight, I'd, yeah, huh? I'd just say to Katie that she should be demanding a pair of Bella tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Excellent. Uh, for when you take her fishing. Yeah. No, absolutely. That's Ooh. right. Yeah, with Katie. the new, with the new pair of shoes with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they got yeah. a patch, mate. Right? That's right. Absolutely. Thank you. The vote. Congratulations. Congratulations to Spotters, couple of new cracker Absolutely. pairs, another award in the bank, and yep. thank you for your support over the years. Five we very much in a row of the best yeah, well sunglasses. Done. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah, good well, done. well done, Spotters. Well done, excellent. Um, all right, let's move on. Um, Trav, I just want to show you something. <laughs> this is what the Premier said mm. in part of his election campaign <laughs> leading up to the 2018 election. Let's have a look at what the Premier had to say about uh, water access. We've got an opportunity, I think, to allow kayakers and other smaller craft with uh, electric motors onto a whole lot of different waterways that they're currently not allowed to be part of. Okay. Um, I have, I've got a list. Yes. This show's all about lists. So this is on my list. There's a couple that aren't here and I want to say something about that at the end. Okay. But uh, Tullaroop, Lauriston, Hepburn, Barker's Creek, Upper Colliban and Malmesbury Reservoirs. Mm -hmm. They'll all be uh, for those smaller craft with uh, electric motors and kayaks, we think that's just a, a smart thing to do. Again, yeah. opening up access, allowing more and more families to be able to engage in spaces that really belong to them ultimately. Yeah. Um, Tarago's not on there. I know, and that's something that you and I have talked about, Devil Bend as well. We've just got a yeah. bit, little bit more consultation to go yeah. through. I'm very keen to make Tarago happen if we can. Yeah. Things I picked up out of that. Firstly, the, the Premier's got a list. He has, which is that, great. That, that he true? wants to deliver yeah. on. But yeah. opening up access for families yeah. to areas that ultimately belong to them. Mm. Yeah. I've seen some hiccups along the way, and you mightn't be able to say all the details, but there's some hiccups around access. And certainly some people have been writing to us going, mm. the access points aren't right. Mm. Uh, it's closed because there's mm. a wall. Yeah. Um, I, I, I would say... Um, yeah. Lisa Neville and in her office Jeff Rose have been fantastic on this, yep. like in terms of, you know, pushing forward and getting you know, this access happening. Yeah. And uh, you know, like they've really pulled out all stops to make it happen. We've still got some work to do. Yeah. Because it's got to be real access. You know, it's got to be where people can go to a, a spot with their family, and be able to just you know put a kayak yeah. or a canoe in the water and you know enjoy it. It's so there's still a bit of work to yeah, do. Yeah. Well, that's exactly how the premier explained it. There. Absolutely. The, the right. family should be able to pull up. Yeah. In an area that ultimately belongs to them, so public yeah. waterway, yeah. and go and enjoy a day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but we're getting, and, and we, I think it was yeah. pretty clear on small craft with electric motors. So where's yeah. the roadblock at the moment? Why is there still fences up? Is this something? Oh, you know, to be honest, I think there are things that are still being worked through, yep. like yeah. in terms of um, you know the authority and, and water authorities and where they're at. But I'm. Um, you know, just watching the premier again there is quite clear you know i mean very clear you know, the, and uh, he took that to the election and i know that uh, you know the water minister and the water minister's office are 100 percent about delivering it and you know where we're at hopefully we're going to see this spring some really good fishing in these waterways and yeah, people yeah. out there in their in their kayaks and canoes yeah. awesome mm. yeah. yeah all right now we're talking we're talking also like estuary to freshwater are we uh, you know, in terms of access, ac yeah, absolutely, yeah, all so the way across. Talking, like, we're talking, yeah, but his, his area, but his list is specific there, around those uh, well, water storages, aren't they? That's really? right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah different yeah. to the access to the other types of access. Yeah, it's about water storages where there hasn't been access previously, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're stocking them now full of natives as well. We're putting yeah. cod and yellows into these waterways, mm, yeah. so they're a year-round fishery, with and you. it's basically saying, like what we've seen at Tuller Root, people are going out there with their yeah. boats with their electrics on it, and they're absolutely smashing the oh, reddies. Oh, some the, great ones. Yeah, and have, you yeah. Know, and it will be the same Big with Upper Colliban and Lauriston and yeah. Hepburn. Stonkers. Mm. Yeah, ab yeah, absolute yeah, stonkers. stonkers. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are cracking fish. Yeah. Oh, access yeah. must be on its way yeah. because uh, the Premier said he's got a list. Yeah. Um, change of subject again. Uh, I believe New South Wales is a, a, a breeding dusky flathead. Yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. yeah. Is there potential for, say, somewhere like the Gippsland Lakes to be stocked with dusky flathead in the future? Yeah, so one of the commitments that uh, the government made at the last election was to. Uh, 
also look at protecting and in, in I suppose increasing the habitat or the um, mm. the health of the Gippsland lakes. Yeah. Now Gus Deer, who is a, a good friend of this show and is a very good fisherman down there, he does a lot of work with the Catchment Management Authority on mm. some of the riparian habitat and the mm. seagrass and those sorts of things. What we want to do is not cut across what he's doing, but yeah. as an authority, um, once we transition the netters out, we'll, we'll start looking at introducing, hopefully with the support of New South Wales and their breeding program, Dusky yep. Flathead, back into the Gippsland Lakes as well. Now there's yeah. already Dusky Flathead in there, yep. but what we've seen through stocking and other waterways is to yeah. just enhance those populations. Mm. So mm. so we don't have anything you know that's in concrete yet with New South Wales, but we know, do know they've broken the code to be able to breed dusky flathead. And the idea that we could put start putting large numbers of dusky flathead back into some of these mm. estuarine waterways is pretty mm. exciting. Mm. Um, many people say, oh, you need to stop brim. Yeah. But without mm. fresh water, yeah. Um, the, the conditions have changed and it's, yeah, it yeah, is a, right. it's not the exactly is ideal. I mean, yeah. obviously, there's still brim in there because we yeah. saw some in Catch Very the long-lived lake. species too, brim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Incredibly but, but things have got to be right for them. Yeah, that's and, right. And um, unless this dry, drought breaks, yeah. It's not good news for Brim, and they and it won't recover overnight. But mm. dusky flathead, I feel, yeah. is something that potentially you could start to build the fishery, get people coming mm. back, yeah. and naturally, when, well, the, the, when the, waters do yeah. flow, dusky flathead are, are, be, are very becoming you know, quickly. Oh. They're becoming the it species of our estuarine waters. We've yeah, seen yeah, the explosion yeah, of, of mm. big dusky flathead at yeah. Lake Tyres. Mm. Malakuta well, had, had a stay there. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah. some. I understand they're there though. Yeah. 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 People next to me have caught them. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah, the slot yeah. sizes work brilliantly as well. Yeah. So that yeah. slot yeah. size, yeah. like it does with cod trout. We were able to trade a few cod shortly for dusky flathead. Yeah, what? No. And also we're stocking estuary perch and mulloway in these waterways. So continue Continue to build those populations. More people fishing, more yep. fish to catch. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. and managed. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Got to go to a break. Coming up next, Kramer's mailbag, and we take a look at what boat ramps are free and which ones aren't. Next on Talking Fishing. Talking Fishing. We know what you'd rather be doing. We know what you really got in mind. We know you'd rather be out fishing. And today's the day you're gonna wear the line Cause every day's a good day Stop wishing Every day's a chance to drift away Drift away Every day's a good day for fishing See you down and tackle world today Talking fishing, talking fishing Nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing <laughs> And for those of you just joining us, it is the new season. We are back. This isn't a repeat. It is September 2019, boys. Or is it a repeat, repeat from before. September 2019? Yeah, <laughs> Until you watch this as a repeat. <laughs> Trav says it's really open this weekend. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. This is not over. This is yeah, a live right show. Yeah. 3rd of September 2019, all right? Yeah. So if you're watching this in January or something. Yeah. Um, this one's from Sam. Hope we're back. Uh, hi, Kramer and the team. Love the show and what, and what you do to support us fishos. I was fishing this area the other day, and we've got a photo here, uh, and came across this sign that had recently been erected near the Bo Morris Motor Yacht Squadron. One photo is the, of the sign marking the marine park edge. I didn't bring that photo. The other one, uh, and that's a no fishing zone. The second photo is of a sign marked as special trolley. Yeah. <laughs> this special <laughs> sign. Sorry for me. Yeah. Sounds this like, special yeah. sign is the first pylon outside the marine park. Who or what is it special for? I haven't been uh, able to find out what it means or if there are any restrictions for us fishing the area. I've looked on both the Victorian boating and fishing regulation sites but found nothing can you help. Well, Sam, our, um, our good friends at Maritime Safety Victoria write, uh, this special mark is not new, apparently. Oh, no, it's not special. All boaters should be aware that a special mark is drawing their attention to something special. <laughs> no, no way. No, no way. this is. I would never have picked it. Get out. There may be a. <laughs> there may be a sign indicating what is special, yeah, right. or you may have to refer to a chart. In this case, it is a five-knot zone extending in both directions. Parks Victoria upgraded boating zone signage around Port Phillip Bay in 2014-15 and has used special marks to denote the five knot speed restrictions within 200 metres of shore 
and where vessels are prohibited. Special marks are used for a variety of reasons, some to mark aquaculture zones or spoil grounds, but predominantly to mark the five knot zones around the Bayside shared zones. Yeah. Around Ricketts Point, there is ample signage following the contours of the shoreline. These zones extend to 500 metres offshore between Mount Martha and Portsea. Yeah. Now, I always read that, and I don't reckon they are. Special. special. They're not that no. special. No, well, they're, they're, they're off oh, really, they're, yeah. they're not 500 metres out. They're only 200 metres out, I'm sure. Anyway, don't tell them that. No, no, yeah, I know, because I'll move them. They're yeah. five knots all the way to Mud Island or something like that. So that's that one. Oh, yeah, it's a bit special. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, Peter, people have been pretty good with no, answering this special. one, too. Yeah, it's good. Uh, this one was from, oh, this is from Don. Oh, it's special. Yeah. Donnie Don, Newman. yeah, previewing his 98th birthday, Don. Oh, right. Uh, he got the typewriter out. Do you reckon we can even drone ride yeah. for his 100th? Oh, we yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's not yeah. that old, is he, really? Yeah, no, 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 okay, true. Okay, <laughs> get up. Special right. ride. He caught a big cotter while he got healed. I he did. Last That's year. Right. Yeah, 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 that was celebrating his yeah. 94th, but he's not 98. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, David. I visited the Turidan boat ramp yeah. this morning, and nothing had progressed since I was there two weeks ago. It's supposed to be done by September. Can't see what can't see that happening. And here's a photo hmm. that Don sent us. All these things have been lying there untouched. Oh, yeah. For two weeks. Mm. Mm. So, pretty bad. <coughs> our good friends yeah, at Better Boating Victoria, so they replied. Crazy. They were pretty onto it. We spoke with Elston, I guess that's the, the contractor, the student, a couple of weeks ago, as well as Turret and Foreshore Committee Management. Elstone has explained that they need the next very low tide, a 0.25 to 0.3 metres, to get the crane and piles in to drop the slabs in, which is around early to mid September. We did ask the committee of management to update their page and uh, we'll follow that up with them. So there you go. Getting the answers. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's a great response, though. That's Typic well. Typical yeah. trainee. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got yeah. five jobs on the go at once. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back. Just don't touch anything. I'll be Sitting back. there yeah. waiting for low tide. Yeah. 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 It's been like waiting for paint to dry, isn't it? Yeah. Um, if you'd like to ride, and I'd love to hear about bow ramps, by the way. If you'd like to ride into Kramer's mailbag, this is what you have to do. Send your mail to Kramer's Mailbag, P.O. Box 734, Patterson Lakes, Victoria 3197 or email kramer at ifish.com.au. Do you know that some people actually said, what a load of bulldust, the boat ramps will never be made free? Yeah, it's a lot of social a media lot of, on that. A lot yeah. of people well, said. It was a big call. You know, when they first no, called it, it out as far as know, as We had both parties in this room, in the studio, yeah, but the yeah. Lead promised up to, to do it. The lead up to that was, yeah. uh, was a big thing as far as you mm. get all the authorities together. It was like a mind game. Yeah, but they uh, still, everyone just said, yeah. it'll never happen. Yeah. yeah and right. the minister's promise was by spring. Yeah. yeah. It's that close. You'd, I'd, I'd call it. Yeah. It's done. Have, have a look at this list. Yeah. Have a look at this. Uh, there you go. Now, Western Port, every single boat ramp that was charging is now free, uh, including Stony Point. The people said that'll never happen. Warneet, that'll never happen. Of course it's happening. Uh, you, every every yeah. one in Western Port. Port Phillip Bay, almost all of them. The Mornington Peninsula, people said that'll never happen. Yeah, yeah. It happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, they are all free <coughs> right now. Regional, have a look at the list of them there. Mm. They are everything that was charged for in regional Victoria is now free. Now there's a few that aren't free. Yeah, so there's a few yeah. little yellow ones yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, um, let's maybe come back from the list. And the ones that aren't free, can I just say that mm. Frankston, um, that went mm. to their council meeting last night and they have uh, voted to support uh, abolishing ramp fees. That's okay. great news. So, so, that's but, it's, but they, need, they need to so. sign off with Better Boating Victoria. Yeah. So yeah. if you're launched there tomorrow morning, you're probably still going to pay till yeah. that agreement's right. in place. And yeah. that. Um, yeah. But so Frank's not. It'll it'll move over to the, the yeah. other one. Yeah. Um, Saint. Oh, I had some notes on this. Saint Kilda. Yeah. Um, Saint Kilda is leased to a private operator and for a very long time. Therefore, it's a commercial operation. And Better Boating Victoria is focusing on public ramps that are not managed commercially. So. St Kilda, it's it's, uh, it's almost in the same category as um, Martha Cove. Yeah, okay. It's, it's yeah. a private, so commercially run. Really. Uh, yeah. Well, it's up to them whether they make it free. I mean, yeah, they, that's right. they might, they yeah. might go. Well, no one's launching you now because yeah. everywhere else is free. They yeah. may come to the party. You don't know, but yeah. it's not up to Better Boating Victoria to call that shot. Can I just say, Morty Alec. Morty Alec. They got yeah. a bit of a cross on the weekend, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. the? Why, why did they actually find someone <laughs> yeah, it's no for not? buying a ticket. But yeah. Morty Alec, 
They've said they're not coming to the party. Not going to make them free. Really? Like, are, they, are they idiots? Are they, are they, That's Kingston, well, isn't it? Like Kingston Council right. have yeah. said, mm. we're not coming to the party. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. Did they not watch Talking Fishing? Do they not nah, understand yeah. that the Premier, mm -hmm. in fact, both sides of politics promised yeah. free boat ramps, yeah. but the city of Kingston have put themselves up on a pedestal yeah. and gone, we're better than the rest of, uh, of, yeah. of Victoria. We don't are care. Committee, are their committee all uh, uh, They're uh, a council. Uh, uh, bankers? They're ex banking employees. Oh, wow. That makes them bankers. bankers. Oh, okay. Mm. A bunch yeah. of bankers. Yeah. Mm. Um, Morty, uh, Kingston, uh, uh, seriously, can, yeah, I, can, nice. I, uh, can I ask the people at home to write to uh, Kingston yeah. City Council tomorrow or phone them, bombard them with why the hell is Morty Alec, uh, Morty Alec Creek not going to be a free boat ramp and every other boat ramp except for Queenscliff. <laughs> and we start on Queenscliff. So Queenscliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Queenscliff. <laughs> I would have to say probably worse than Morty Alec. No yeah. way! Last, oh. No, it's a they big... two people? Now I'm just going to do BC, I'm going to write there. Basket case. Oh! Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, Queenscliff's not going to be free because they don't want to make it free. They need the money, right? They yeah. just spend it on stuff. Yep. So, yeah, so that's... Queenscliff, another basket case. Oh. But I tell So you, what are they going to do when, mm. when numbers dwindle? Per season, they probably, probably don't care, there. Adam. Mm. They probably don't care. Yeah, we'll see. Now, I wanted to mention a few that are under. I put under repair. That's a bit like a golfing thing, you know, ground under sure. repair. Yep. Um, just go through them. Turidan, we just covered before, mm. is. Uh, waiting, waiting for a low tide. Yeah, waiting yeah, for a low right. tide. <laughs> yeah. um, Coronella is uh, a great, going to be great awesome. rebuild yeah. down there. It's going they're, to be awesome. But I think it's October, mm. so don't oh, head, okay. I don't head, mm. you don't need to. Coronella's well on the way. Yep. Tutkarook is made free now, but. Um, yep. They clear the sand off the ramp. Waiting for a high tide. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the next high tide washed it all back on. Yeah. So there's only a, no, actually, there's only about a metre deep of sand out. It was uh, three metres oh, deep. Oh, so they're okay. making progress. That's but right. yeah, but yeah, can yeah. I say that they're doing, the committee management down there at Tutkaruk are doing a great job at, with Better Boating Victoria yep. Yep. to get proper dredging done. And uh, I, I would hope that that Tutkaruk is open all year round from now on once the dredging done yeah, properly. Tyrone. Uh, Basket case committee management don't want it open because there's a d one Pretty dolphin soon. that lives at the end, and <laughs> Anthony's nose uh, full of sand as well. So, and can I just just so what just are they quickly, repairing at Tyrone? Oh, well, they the bankers. Tyrone, uh, <laughs> they just won't wash the sand off, and they oh, won't, right. and they, and it's that deep for the first fifty metres out. Mm. They oh. need to, they need to dredge it anyway. We'll we'll yep. just keep banging on about that one. So, yep. can I just do a big? Shout out. It's a bit like when you go for a cruise mm. on a, uh, a paddle steamer at the Murray River at Echuca. You yeah. know, you, someone hands around the wine and there's a bloke on the wheel and that, but the person doing the work is in the engine room. They're shoveling the coal. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, the person shoveling the coal mm. at Better Boating Victoria is Catherine Greek. Mm. Um, and she'll be embarrassed that I mention her, but can I just do a public shout out to Catherine for being an absolute outstanding person mm -hmm. in getting these boat ramps up. Yep. She yep. She's... Mm. Um, She's a mover and a shaker. Mm. She'll be embarrassed about me saying this, Trav. <laughs> yeah. But um, it's uh, just unbelievable. Unbelievable work, Catherine. So well done. Oh, just want to publicly thank you. Um, I'm getting yelled at in my ear. We must go to a break. Hot spots. Uh, and then we'll wind up talking fishing very soon. Talking fishing. G'day. Callan here from Paul Worsland's Tackle World Cramman. Supercharged batteries have been supplying maintenance-free marine batteries since 2001. The Seamaster Gold Range is second to none, delivering superior starting power and reserve capacity. No need to top up with water, truly a fit and forget battery. With up to two years replacement warranty, you know you have quality. Your battery is your lifeline. Without it, you're dead in the water because it's bloody hard to push start. I've got a Seamaster battery in my boat. Make yours a Seamaster Gold today. Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. And now the segment you've all been waiting for. Hotspots, brought to you by Seamaster Batteries. Uh, welcome back to Talking Fishing. Plenty to get through still, so we'll punch through the hotspots, eh? Yep. Um, number one, Pinnace Channel, King George Whiting. Charlie, you'll be hearing about all that at Tackle World Geelong, some good whiting out there. Yes, exactly, and the big ones, yeah, like we're mm. seeing across the, uh, across the bay, so yes, yeah, so, and numbers, mm. really yeah. good. Uh, Sorrento Calamari is the second hotspot, and... 
if you don't want to go somewhere so that's too far from the ramp, the yep. free ramp at Sorrento, yep. just around the corner in the mornings. Excellent. Some beautiful calamari there yep. at the moment. Yeah. Get out in the kayak there too, Ads. Good yeah, yeah, I reckon. Fantastic. I have to. I want to get a cuttlefish. I've never caught a cuttlefish. Yeah, well, You've got to go deep, heavy jigs. Yeah. 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 Just bounce them on the bottom. Yeah, that's all right. I'm pretty soft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Over into Western Port and uh, the capital of calamari, as it mm. always is this time of year, is the Tyre Bank. Mm. Um, three to four metres of water. Yep. What colour jigs working I, I won't be taking the kayak there. No. Mm. Um, apparently the water is crystal clear. Is yeah. it really? So white or very natural coloured jigs, yeah. um, transparent jigs, yep. really, really good. Mm. Yeah. Very Invisible. clear at the moment, like really mm. clear. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Unusual for Western Port yeah. at times. Mm. Flinders Pier, it always fires up this time of year for the big stonkers yep. for calamari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really good. Stonker for calamari. people that want to do land based, particularly if there's yeah. a bit of a northerly blowing, yeah. sort of bit protect north yeah. westerly, is a, it's make, well protected. And make sure you take your or 10 or 12 footer with you and you um, your 10 12 foot surf rod yep mm. and what do you do with that a uh, bit of bait for a squid like oh. a silver whiting or oh, a yeah, grass yeah, whiting yeah. under a float yep. that is how the monster calamari goes. Oh, right. yeah. there you go yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. but you need yeah. the longer to get the distance mm. yeah. Uh, all right, number five is the Goulburn River. We've already spoken about it. Rainbow yeah. trout galore. Stonkers. 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 You're heading right. up there, Trade Trademark. Oh, I am going to head up to Eildon on Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go check it out. Take the kids up. Prediction yeah, for next week. Yeah, Stonkers. 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 Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, <laughs> lucky last, Anderson's Inlet down mm. at Inverloch. Some beautiful trevally moving around in the cold water down yeah, there. Mm. Yeah, Land base, really good. Are they yep. fight? Just beautifully done. Yeah, yeah. get a bit of burly going. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Uh, talking about the knockers before, you know, about the, the boat ramps never going to happen. Oh, yeah. I still see on social media yeah, yeah, yeah. people are going, boat yeah. rego's going up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going yeah, up, going up. Bucks, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bucks. We've got a table here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if, you, if you haven't seen this table, go back onto our YouTube and look at the show. We did a special show one mm. month ago. It was the last show on YouTube where the Minister for Boating and Fishing, Jala Pulford, announced that CPI is the increase that you will see in the next, this term of government. So um, obviously, you know, she can't make a call beyond that because, yeah. yeah. you know, another party might get in and put it up to 300 bucks, but mm -hmm. she is promising. It's gonna go up around 60 cents for your marine license and about a dollar forty three for your for your registration in twenty twenty. So, so it's, re it's really you're saving money. You're not paying boat registration. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's right. money for your lunch. It's money for your you know Another your block of drinks. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. There, there's also yeah. people mm -hmm. arguing. I don't mind paying yeah. if, if it went into boat ramps. Well, yeah. that's right. You know what? Yeah. You already are paying. You're paying yeah. boat license and boat rego. Yeah. So yeah. combined, you're paying whatever it is, eighty and yeah. thirty-seven or something. Yeah. You're already paying that, yeah. and that it, instead of it going to the coffers, yeah. it's now going to go back into boat ramps. So you are actually paying, and it's going to go to the right place. So there yeah. you go, and it ain't going up by. Three hundred bucks. Yeah, no. like those those knockers. They're just keyboard warriors, oh, aren't they? You know, and they just <laughs> they don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. It is, Someone I, I, need to get a life. Well, I find yeah. it really surprising though, because we, we still have you know occasionally people will jump up on the fisheries social media and have a crack. Yeah, and just so many people yeah. actually just shout them down. They do. Yeah. We don't have to yeah, moderate yeah. it. They'll just go. You know, hey, yeah. things it's are pretty so good yeah. here. You know, like we've got it's a self-regulating. Uh, oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. They're mainly yeah. bank employees. That uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing against bank employees. Um, Trav, yeah. change, changing the subject sure. again. Yeah. Um, how's native, uh, native fish hatchery? How's the yeah, so, site for that going? And so to, to any of your viewers who aren't aware of this commitment, so we're building a brand new big native fish hatchery up near Trellies World, yep. up near Shepparton, and where I come from, up yep. near Aurora, and g'day to Tom Daly and all the people from Aurora that are hey. watching tonight. Yeah. Um, but so it's going to be a really massive uh, yeah. fish hatchery up near, um, uh, up near Shepparton. And at the moment, we've, we're working with landowners on the best site. We want one on the river. We want it to uh, you know, be a really productive site, look good, yep. produce a, you know, as many yellows and cod as anywhere else in Australia, mm. the most ever. Um, but at the moment, we're just trying to work through sites and get the ones with the, the right amount of clay and the right amount of soil so that we can you know, yeah. have, have a really good hatchery. That's yeah. where we're at. And um, so you haven't got a site? Uh, we're getting very getting close, close, very, very close. Yeah. yeah. How long once you've got a site? Yeah. To, oh, and I know you probably yeah. can. Yeah. But but roughly, how long does it take to build? Uh, two years? Yeah. Three I, years? No, I reckon two years. We're not anticipating a lot of fish in the next two to three years out of it. So we've already put contingencies in place to meet our 10 million fish target that yep. we're going to buy a lot from New South Wales where we've traditionally bought them from. Mm. So two to three years, yep. we'll have it hopefully all dug out, the, you know, the office blocks all up and running. Mm. Um, 
and then heading into sort of 2022 moving forward, yeah. we're hoping you can come online and produce mm. us millions of cod and millions of yellows a year. Yeah. We've never really produced a lot of yellows in Victoria. Yeah, right. We want to be producing millions of yellows. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Excellent. Traffic, can I thank you for coming along? Oh, it's wonderful it's to be here. No, no, it's so good. The yeah. information yeah. just pump it out. And it's no, so I love good being on the show. So. It's fantastic. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, good stuff. Thanks, Trav. Yeah. Uh, that's it for Talking Fishing. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please do yourself a favour and celebrate the start of trout opening this weekend with a drive up to Eildon or Ballarat to join in the festivities and if you catch a fish send us a pic and we'll show the world because it's just a fantastic thing particularly if you catch a stonker yes, <laughs> yeah. until we see you again next tuesday on talking fishing please stay safe on the water and enjoy your fishing talking fishing talking fishing nothing but fishing we're talking fishing we got all you need just take a look watch those fish jump on your hook just relax and take your time. Enjoy the show, then drop us a line. Talking, fishing, talking, fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking, fishing. Talking, fishing, talking, fishing. Nothing but fishing, we're talking, fishing. Talking, fishing. Have a good weekend, Mr. Walker. You too, son.